Well, Assalamu alaikum dear students, I am Engineer Abdul Basit and we are in week number 7, uh, lecture number 14. This is basically that second part of this week lecture and the topic is application of hydrostatics. So, the topic is continued from the previous lecture and coming towards that third situation, uh, let me place this recording tab over here, uh, that, that third condition that is about the uh, situation where we are having the pressure due to liquid on both sides of the fluid okay so before going to that third condition uh, let us uh, discuss this simple numerical uh, in which a closed cylinder tank of 1 meter diameter and 2 meter deep with vertical excess contain 1.5 meter deep water okay uh, this this is the situation which we have discussed in previous lecture okay uh, for the two different types of liquid on one side of the wall uh, on which we want to find out the pressure okay so here we are having a closed cylindrical tank of one meter diameter so one meter diameter so the the circumference can be determined by 2 pi r or you can say that uh, pi d uh, is the equation for the circumference which will be your length then okay two meter deep so this is the depth or h we need to have and the vertical axis contain uh, 1.5 meter deep water okay and uh, in total one uh, and, and total of uh, two meter depth 1.5 is the depth of water okay so the remaining part is filled with wa with air if the air at a pressure of 5 kPa above the atmosphere is pumped into the cylinder so now the uh, the pressure over here is not that atmospheric pressure it is that 5 kPa pressure okay 5 kPa pressure of the air that is pumped into the cylinder so as it is a circular cylinder and the situation will be like this is that circular cylinder okay like this the air is pumped over here in this cylinder and this is uh, sorry this is that level of water okay on which we want to find out uh, 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 on which we are uh, mm, uh, like uh, uh, pushing this air into and that is exerting some pressure on the surface of water okay so now what will be the pressure distribution due to this water and the air on the si sides of the uh, on, on side walls of the cylinder okay is pumped into the cylinder find the total pressure of the vertical tank uh, on the wall of the vertical tank and the distance of the total pressure from the bottom so now in this situation we are going to determine the distance from the bottom that h will be from bottom so if this is that p for you okay the total p so this will be that small h dash for you okay which uh, these both things needs to be determined first of all p1 is actually the pressure due to air so at this point the air the pressure is exerted by the uh, by uh, exerted by the pushed air into the cylinder that is 5 kPa so AD is 5 kPa that is not zero now okay the surface of water is not at zero pressure now okay so here there is some pressure and that is equal to 5 kPa so that 5 kPa pressure is exerted from here and then transferred to this point and then to the bottom okay and in all the uh, position it is uh, the same B F R E uh, whatever this term is let's say this is G G E and that A D okay and uh, this triangle is actually showing the pressure due to this water which is at the depth of uh, 5 1.5 meters so this is the pressure due to this water okay and uh, its maximum pressure is F C which is uh, equal to W2 H2 so uh, here there is no other fluid so you can say that it is W1 uh, WH W into H okay so the area of this triangle will be equal to 1 over 2 WH square and this rectangle will be equal to 5 multiplied by this height which is 2 meter okay so here it is 5 multiplied by 2 is the total pressure and on distributing on the total length so this is pi D okay the circumference of the uh, whole uh, cylinder okay so this is the total total pressure on all sides of the cylinder our whole circumference whole diameter of the cylinder uh, whole perimeter of the cylinder sorry then FC FC is the ma maximum pressure okay this one that is WH which is given over here and the area uh, 
of their triangle will be equal to P2 which is the area of the triangle multiplied by circumference of the tank okay so then it is over here circumference is due to uh, finding out the pressure distribution on the whole uh, circumference so then this is their total pressure P1 plus P2 okay now the distance of the total pressure from the bottom is let's say D R H H dash okay whatever you take this this is up to you okay P into D is that location of the total pressure so this pressure this small pressure is due to the addition of this P1 and P2 okay so PV, uh, PU, uh, P1 is having moment arm from the bottom okay that is 2 divided by 2 because this is uh, a triangle uh, a rectangle okay this is the location of P2 so from here to here this is 2 divided by 2 okay and the triangle is over here and this location is now towards the bottom so it is now equal to 1 H divided by 3 so this is 1.5 is that 1 and uh, divided by 3 okay so here it is putting all the values we do have P which is 66 we do have V1, we do have V2 and all these things putting all the values uh, you will find out that D for you that is the location of the resultant pressure uh, that is 0 0.75 meter now this is that situation okay whenever this is that third case okay whenever we are having fluids on both side of the wall this is that side of wall we are having fluid over here as well fluid over here as well okay so this is uh, you can see this is fluid this is fluid both the fluids are having different now uh, the only difference will be uh, the like the pressure will be calculated in the same formula the, the total pressure the location of the pressure all the things will be the same but only the difference will be that the 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 total pressure will not be equal to the sum of this pressure it will be equal to the that uh, uh, that uh, uh, difference of these pressure because these two pressures are acting in different direction are in opposite directions so you can say that, uh, that the difference of this pressure will give us the total pressure or in other words you can say that the sign of this pressure is now mandatory for addition if you are not finding out this the difference over here so you have to maintain the signs like this this is let's say positive pressure so this should be negative pressure then if you are adding it in a straight way um, uh, in the form of natural numbers so then it will be uh, like uh, a simple addition but the the negative sign will uh, do its trick and will give us the the difference of these pressures okay so here it is that situation p1 is equal to w1 h1 r w1 h1 squared divided by h2 so we have already discussed this thing this is P2 so the difference of P1 minus P2 is actually the total pressure and how to calculate the the position of this pressure that is again the same thing okay uh, by taking the moment so again I am telling you that the pressure uh, sign should also be should should be maintained as this is let's say positive pressure so then it will be negative pressure and its moment will also be in the reverse direction okay uh, moment of area so that should be kept in mind otherwise the, the rest of the situation will remain the same okay so this is that uh, equation for you uh, where we are having bulk uh, bull head uh, 3 meter long uh, divided uh, divided uh, uh, a, st a storage tank okay we are having this type of storage tank let's say um, and then uh, it is divided by uh, with the help of a wall okay one side there is a petrol and on other side there is a another fluid that is 0 0.78 uh, stored at a depth of 1.5 meter okay and other side are having specific gravity uh, oil of specific gravity 0 0.8 okay stored at a depth 0 0.9 determine the resultant pressure and the position at which it is acting okay so it is now quite simple first of all you need to find out P1 which is equal to this thing okay W1 H1 all the things are given then this is that P1 for you and P2 will be equal to again the same thing okay uh, you need to find out that uh, that pressure difference okay then that is P1 minus P2 so here it is that pressure for you okay now this is that 
uh, total situation for you uh, which is 1.5 meter uh, 1.8 meter depth petrol and 0.9 meter depth oil okay and it is having separate pressure and it is having separate pressure so p1 minus p2 is the total pressure and its location will be uh, if we take the moment at this point because this point is common to both the uh, the pressures okay uh, if you take pressure over here at a point then it is not common to that uh, both the pressures okay so mm, uh, in uh, what uh, what my opinion is you should take the 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 pressure area about uh, the the moment about that point c not point a okay so this is this p2 is at a location of h2 divided by 3 h2 divided by 3 is the location and this one is at a location oh sorry this is the air pressure and this is at the location uh, again h1 divided by 3 okay this is that positive pressure this is that negative pressure so that should be kept in mind okay this is that positive pressure because uh, this is in the direction of the resultant pressure so then this is p into h this is total pressure p1 into 0 0.6 minus p2 into so this is how you should maintain that negative sign okay and then it is h uh, is the only unknown in this equation so we will find it out that is 0 0.72 meter Okay, inshallah in next class we will discuss about few practical applications of hydrostatics that is the sluice gate, the log gates, the masonry walls, the dams. So all the stuff will be discussed in the next class inshallah. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum.